Hi, my name is Duncan. This is the first video in our series of how-to videos where we'll walk through the process of installing the Safe to Tow Electric Brake Monitoring System. At this point I should point out that these videos aren't intended to be DIY instructional videos. They've been put together for the information and benefit of personnel who are licensed and accredited to work on electric brake systems. So in this first video we'll go through the tools and materials that you should set aside before you start the installation. Because having the stuff at your fingertips before you start will always make the installation a bit easier and a bit more enjoyable. So in terms of the tools I've got here in front of me today, there's nothing too exotic. All standard tools that you'll find in an auto electrician's toolbox. We've got some pointy nose pliers, side cutters, Phillips and flat blade screwdriver, a good quality ratchet crimping tool, some scissors, a knife, some safety glasses, there's nothing worse than climbing under a vehicle and having dirt and dust fall in your eyes. I've got a test light here, it's not mandatory but it's always useful when you're identifying the brake light circuit in the vehicle main wiring harness. A tape measure or a rule, as the saying goes, measure twice, cut once. A reasonably heavy duty soldering iron. Depending on the vehicle, depending on the installation, you may need to drill some holes. So having a drill set handy is always a good idea. I've got a battery drill here with a Phillips driver bit in it and having an extender or a long shank driver is always helpful in a lot of installations too. A torch or a lead light or both and a heat gun for shrinking your heat shrink. Okay so that should be all the tools you need, let's have a look at the material. Righty-o, materials. As you can see I've reconfigured my display here. And I've also got a wiring diagram for a dual axle brake monitoring system hanging on the wall just to help explain where our materials are used. Now in general what I've got on the desk here is the materials that will typically be required to do a brake monitor installation. It will also require some other consumable materials but I'll talk about them separately. So the first thing I've got here is our brake monitoring system. Uh, we've got a dual axle and a single axle system. And inside this packaging is our brake monitoring unit, which mounts on the underbody of the caravan or trailer. And the Bluetooth communication module, which is a module that communicates with the brake monitor app on your smartphone or tablet. And most importantly inside this packaging is your installation, operation and maintenance manual. Now on the centre page of all of our manuals is the main wiring diagram for your brake monitoring system. This is a dual axle system and the wiring diagram I've got on the wall today is identical to the wiring diagram inside your manual. The next thing on the desk here is our installation kits. So again, we've got a dual axle kit and a single axle kit. And the contents of these kits is actually identified on our equipment list on your main wiring diagram. So just to run through that, item one on our equipment list is the electric brake monitoring unit. So item one is this fellow. Okay, our electric brake monitoring unit. Item two is our Bluetooth transceiver module up here on the drawing, which again is this fellow. Item three is our insulated ferrule blade terminals. So that's these guys here. And these ones are used to connect to the input and output connections on our brake monitoring unit. Item four is our insulated cable joiners. That's these guys. So these ones are used to connect into the brake magnet wiring. Item 5 is our 15AWG 2 core cable. Now in our dual axle installation kits, we supply a 25 metre roll of 2 core tinned copper marine grade cable. There's enough cable here to totally rewire your brake magnet circuits, but depending on the vehicle, depending on the age and condition of the wiring, you may or may not need to do that but we supply a 25 metre roll just so that we've got all bases covered. So the last item on our equipment list here is the brake monitoring unit wiring harness, which is this guy. And this one is used to connect the input terminals on the brake monitoring unit through to the main wiring harness in your caravan or trailer. So the last items that I've got on the bench here today, which aren't actually included on the equipment list on the drawing, is a small packet of fasteners so these fasteners are used to mount the brake monitoring unit on the underbody of the vehicle and some 6.4mm heat shrink tubing. So the heat shrink tubing that we provide is actually adhesive lined and the intent of this tubing is to allow you to sleeve the crimp connections. 
Now, a lot of people would prefer to see soldered connections, and that's fine. Uh, there's no problem with soldering the connections. But from our point of view, when we do installations here, we typically find that as long as you're using good quality ratchet crimp tool and good quality crimp connections, crimp connections typically are quicker, they're safer to install, they're neater, and they're easier. But at the end of the day, if they're sleeved and heat shrink tubing uh, and well environmentally protected, they're no less reliable than a soldered connection. So the last thing I've got on the table here today are our polycarbonate enclosures. So these enclosures are intended to provide some additional environmental protection for our brake monitoring units. Now I will say that our brake monitoring units are designed, are intended and are warranted for underbody installation. The reason we provide the polycarbonate enclosures is just for extreme off-road applications. So if it was a heavy duty off-road caravan or in particular a camper trailer, you were going to go up the Cape, we just wouldn't want to see our box caked in mud. So these provide some additional environmental protection and some additional peace of mind for extreme off-road applications. But again, our brake monitoring units, they are designed and they are warranted for underbody installation on any normal caravan. So that pretty much covers off the essential materials that I've got on the desk here today. I'll just clear this away now and I'll quickly run through the consumable materials that you might also want to consider having on hand. Okay, so the range of consumables you might want to have on hand when you do your installation really is dependent on your installation and it's something you need to consider during the planning phase, which we'll talk about in the next video. But just to help out a bit, I'll go through the range of consumables that we carry in stock here and we typically draw on when we do an installation. So we've got some solder for any solder connections we do, some electrical tape, got a range of sizes of cable ties, and we always make sure to have some nice heavy duty cable ties on hand because depending on where they're installed, these smaller ties can quite easily be broken just by a single rock kicked up off the road. We've got some adhesive cable tie mounts and the main thing to remember if you're going to use these guys is to make sure to prepare the surface properly to make sure the adhesive sticks. We've got some nylon P-clips and also some other metallic cable clips just for securing any longer cable runs in place. And if you're going to use cable clips then you'll also need some additional fasteners. We've got some Celastic or Sikaflex. And also for newer caravans it's quite common for the electrical installations to be done with in corrugated conduit. So when we do an installation here we always make sure to maintain the standard of the existing installation. So for older caravans it's perhaps not that common but for newer caravans um, it's good to have some corrugated conduit on hand or some other conduits similar to what's used on the existing installation. So that's pretty much the range of consumables that we have on hand. In the next video, we'll talk about planning the installation.